Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Netgear EX3700 or the AC750. I think the model number is EX3700, AC750 is like the speed. Netgear has some weird specs. Anyway, this is going to be the tutorial on how to set it up in access point mode. Now, if you're looking for extender mode, I have another video on my channel for that. There should be a link in the description of this video below, and I'll also try to throw an annotation on the screen about now. So anyway, if we look on the screen here, uh, when you plug in your Netgear extender, you should see Netgear underscore EXT show up in your list of wireless networks, and you'll want to connect to that. In the case of the AP, you want to plug in a Ethernet cable from your router into the side of the device. If you are looking at the device, there's a yellow port on the side for the Ethernet cable. So plug it in there. So if we uh, connect to that, it should allow us to connect to the network, and then we're just going to open up Chrome and jump to uh, my Wi-Fi ext.net. It's going to ask us to go through the new extender setup. So here we're going to enter email address, password, and then you have to select some security questions. So, um, you know, whatever you want to do there. Yeah, it doesn't really matter for this particular tutorial. You'll probably care a lot about, a, about the questions a lot more than I will. Um, so yeah, in this particular set you can uh, select access point in this particular case so we're going to tell it to do that it says look for an internet connection it's just going to try to use the ethernet port so you'll want to have that plugged in by now this part takes a while so i'll probably cut the video right about here okay so now it's going to ask us to set these up so we'll do um in my case, I'm going to make these for my Chromecasts. So I'm going to do 2.4, and uh, we're going to make it WPA, and I'm going to set that. And then same thing here, 5. And same thing here, you can do AP, WPA2. The options that you have to pick from, WEP, WPA2, PSK, shared key and you can also do uh, TKIP. For my case we're just going to do WPA2 pre-shared key. That's the most common that someone's going to do on their network so that's what we're going to do here and try to type correctly. There, okay. And then once you've set those two networks up you're just going to hit next and uh, last pass will bug you to try to save your stuff which in my case, I will say no. <laughs> and this might take a little bit, so we will uh, cut the video here as well. Right about now, you'll probably notice that uh, you'll disconnect from the Wi-Fi that's attached to your Netgear uh, AP. Just uh, hang out for a bit and wait for one of the other networks to show up, so then you can sort of connect to it. Because eventually, obviously, that network is going to go away that you've been connecting to. And for security purposes, you're going to want to reconnect to the new one. So, um, so we'll jump in here. And of course, you'll get the normal Wi-Fi prompts, all that jazz. You can do whatever you want with that. So now we're, we should be connected to... Yeah. So then we can go back to here. And you should be able to jump back into this. It should prompt you for the credentials that you set up earlier. So you'll want to do that. It's like, hey, look, I'm doing things. Um, we're going to, apparently it's going to want to register. I'm going to skip that for now, but you could obviously fill that out and send it if you wanted. And uh, usually it'll prompt you for a firmware um, update. 
So in my case, I'm gonna close this for now just so we can talk about the settings. But uh, you'll probably wanna update your firmware. I always recommend that just because there are new security features coming out from these uh, manufacturers a lot. And sometimes you even get some performance updates and things like that. So it's worth, uh, worth updating. So yeah, on the left side of the screen here, you can see your status. Obviously we have one um, person connected. So you can see that it's connected. Uh, you can also go through the smart setup again if your networks have changed or you want to do something like that. Under settings, you get like wireless options. So you can come in here and uh, sort of mess with these if you want to limit the speed or you want to turn it down or anything like that. Uh, change the channel. This apparently has decided that it wants to stick on 153. You can also set it to auto. That's just kind of up to you. And uh, you can rename your access points here, change the passwords, all that. If you jump to connected devices, you can literally see the devices connected, in my case, just the laptop that is sitting in front of me. You can also set access control for devices, which, you know, if you want to, you can, sure. Um, here you go for passwords. You can swap the uh, password out for the admin console, all that. And then some other things for doing some backups of your current Wi-Fi configuration, uh, remotely power cycling your extender. Uh, things like that. And that's really about it. Uh, you can set up Fastlane, which allows you to like bridge the two, essentially. So you're basically bridging 2.4 and 5 gigahertz together. So that's that that helps a lot if you're using this as an extender. Not, not so much in this case, because we're not really, you know, this is just access point mode, so we're not actually bridging over anything. And uh, then you can also manage your uh, WPS stuff from here. That's about it, really. Uh, this thing is set up and happy, and I'm probably going to update my firmware, and then it'll be good to go. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. If you have any questions about any of this particular device or any of that, throw a comment in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to see more stuff from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. You'll see some videos popping up on the screen right about now. One is my review on this device, once what I think about the whole thing after we're done here. And uh, another would be the unboxing, so have at it. Uh, there's also going to be a link coming up right here as well for the extender mode, in case you've watched this entire video and you actually didn't want access point mode. So there you go. Thanks for watching.